Jupiter High has won five straight games and enters week nine with a seven and one record. It's just kind of clicked this year. I think, you know, all, all our systems were in place last year, but it certainly takes some time to adjust to new schemes and all that type of stuff. They travel down military trail Thursday night to face a familiar opponent, Palm Beach Gardens, which has won three straight games, including last week's upset of previously undefeated Palm Beach Central. You know, it's going to be a good game. Um, both of us, I know that they are being definitely preparing for us, and likewise, we've been pre preparing for them. Did I mention that Thursday night is also for the 4M District 9 Championship? Excited for the matchup. I think it's a great opportunity for us, great challenge um, to go on the road and get an opportunity to uh, to play for the district championship. Our guys are certainly excited. We're looking forward to, uh, to Thursday night. While records this year favor the Warriors, history tilts towards Gardens. Since 2005, the Gators are 16-2 versus Jupiter. In fact, last year, Palm Beach Gardens won in lopsided fashion 46-7. to But this is a new year and a different Warrior squad. Brings a, a, like a West Coast fast-paced type of offense that's very hard to defend. And he has the, the crew to he has the crew to be very productive. Two playoff teams dueling for the district and to maintain momentum going into the final week of the regular season. Doesn't get better than that. It's a 6.30 kickoff on Thursday night at Palm Beach Gardens. For ESPN 106.3, I'm Theo Dorsey.